that way. Hop in. Okay. Smokey, come on. In you get. Come on, boy. I'm Jack. Pearl. Pearl. Come on, Smokey. Up you get. You sure I didn't drag you too far out of your way? No worries. Isn't this old man Mumbles, Tinny? Yeah, I work for him down at Mooney Mooney. So you're the new boy. Oh, it's about time we had some fresh blood around here. Well, I'm not sticking around for long. I'm just sort of helping out with the harvest. Don't you guys have to be up in the middle of the night to catch this tide? <laughs> Wait. Well, you better hurry up. They'll be heading down the pub soon. Well, will I see you around, or...? Yeah, we'll see. You think the tide waits for you? I've already had to go out there once this morning. Yeah, sorry, I slept in. I don't care if you're dying of the plague, you get out of bed, all right? It's no job for wusses, mate. Finish this, come and see me. What's well, it, the best you can find, Brownie? The only one who answered the ad, mate. He won't last. He's a good worker, give him a chance. Yeah, he made his sheep. Mate, next time get a marine biologist. At least he'll be able to tell you when to pull up your crop. <laughs> yeah, good one, Barry. If you didn't spend all your life on one side of your ass, you might realise you had two butt cheeks. <laughs> you look a mess. Is the job too hard for you? No. Hold still. Look I, look, I don't want a Band-Aid, OK? How long do you think you can last up here? Go back to the city. You can still see me on weekends. No. I'll be moving anyway when the insurance runs out. And what? And what? I'll get you the money. I'll get you the money.
Evo. Watch that truck out. Stay there, Heath. What's that? Boysenberry fruit wrap. Long and hard. You're on the pairs, not rest. You know that now? Yeah. Think you can handle it? Mm hmm. Next couple of months gonna be more of the same. Yeah, we'll be harvesting, selling, laying sticks out to catch spats. Yeah, as well as routine maintenance, deliveries, plus we'll be bagging, shipping, repairing tools, flushing back at the shore depot. What's your registration papers, gentlemen? Mind if we inspect your truck? Be my guest, hope you catch the bastard. Don't encourage them pigs, I'll be never get home. Now listen, Jack, I'm gonna need you on call at all times. No worries. You no know holidays. Yeah, good. Listen, next few months are gonna be shit. I need to know if you're in for the long haul, because you can get out right now. No, I'm in. You sure? Yeah, yeah, you can count on me, Mr. Sweetwater. You right to go, driver? Okay, let's bring them up. No, no, they're too fast. No, we'll come back later, pick them up when they're dry. Do it now. Listen, if they get a belly full of water, they're, they're gonna blow. I mean, don't say I didn't warn you. Shut up and help me, will ya? Oh, bastards. Two weeks to go and they'd blow on me. Fuck. She's the only one who can stop this, you know. She has the gift. One look from the likes of her, they don't dare lose their juice. I'm sick of hearing it all right. Shut your cake off. You hear that, huh? No respect for his father. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm expecting a package. Is it registered? No. Then we won't have any record of it. It'll go to your home address. Yeah, I realise that, but uh, it hasn't arrived yet, so would you mind checking out the back? Ern, could you come out here, please? Yeah, what is it? This man's after a package. What name? J Flange. You make that up? No. It's a large prepaid envelope. Can't remember seeing one of those. 
Well, excuse me. Would you mind checking, please? You'll just have to be patient like everyone else. Keep checking your box. His wife day in, day out, farming someone else's shells. Everyone knows our lease is a far superior. You'll be lucky if he doesn't ask for half your share in the divorce. Not getting divorced. She loves me. She's going through a stage. You know, as soon as I get that money, I'm out of here. Fuck him. What money? Hello? What? When are you going to take me down the depot? Introduce me. It's a busy time right now. Yeah, let me help. I'm not talking about macrame basket weaving, all right? It's a dangerous job, oyster farming. Oh, piss off! <laughs> I'm not a vegetable. I can look after myself. Now, I may never get back to what I was, but that's no one's fault. So will you stop acting like such a martyr? I'm sick of hearing it. Who's this? My sister Nikki. She's come to help if that's all right. Think you can use one of these, love? Sure. Get her some gloves, will you, Dad? Jack, can you give me a hand down here, please? Put these on your love. What's wrong with her? She was in a car accident. I don't mind family, as long as they pull their weight. Just warn me next time, will you? Thanks, mate. Well, they had this sign up, you know, saying that they had a whistling oyster performing nightly, so I thought I have to have a look at this. So when I went in there, she was. Oh, God. As cocky as, you know, this oatmeal skin and a shock of all burden hair. And plenty of curves, you know, not big, you know, but I mean, they sat up and said bonjour in all the right places, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, that's, a, that's an ugly that goes into the wheat sack there. Ah, she was a born businesswoman, charging a dollar a head to see this musical mollusk that she'd found in her father's farm. I mean, not that it whistled as such, you know, but it kind of clicked and fizzled out. Yeah, she was very proud of that little diva, all the same. Nearly paid for the wedding. You ever been in love yourself, Jack? Don't I? That's a wretched, messy business. It's like pissing against an electric fence. Hey, stop that, you little bollocks! Yeah. Hope you had a tetanus shot. <laughs> you two stop farting around and get on with it. What's his problem, anyway? Mother Superior over there. Well, why'd they break up? Ah, because she had hair on her upper lip and evil in her heart. Now, actually, uh, Brownie told me once, the trouble with Trish is that she's an emotional manipulator of the worst kind and a great fuck. And that, my friend, is a truly terrifying combination. You ever been in love yourself, Jack? You already asked me that. Did I? God, I don't remember. And what did you say? I'm not interested, mate. Hmm. 150 grand, I heard. Is that so? Yeah, that'd be right. Yeah, well, if it is one of us, the silly bugger will start flashing around soon enough, won't he? They always do. How's that? I'll get a big outboard. That's the first thing. A big fucking rooter of an engine, mate. <laughs> like a 200-horsepower Merc. Then he'll order a pallet of beer, 
build a tin shed around and drink himself into oblivion. <laughs> hey, trust me, this ain't no place for show us. They stick out like dog's balls. How long's that been going on? Oh, about eight or nine months. And she's only warming up. Next. Not interviewing her, are they? Sexist bastards. Well, surely she's not a suspect. It's the principal, Dad. She wants to be treated like an equal. She lines up like the bloody rest of us. Bloody hell. What about you, Oyster Boy? Got a criminal record yet? No. Oh, did we not ask you that in the interview? <laughs> ask me anything you want. I've got nothing to hide, all right? Your family? No. How long you worked here for? A few weeks. At all? Yeah. What'd you do before that? Removals. Where? Locally or? No, no, Sydney. Were you at the fish markets on the weekend? Yeah. Notice any suspicious behaviour? No. You got nothing else to report in relation to the incident? Well, mate, I was head down working all day, so, you know, I didn't see anything. Yeah, all right. This is the last of them. Shh. Have to close that door. That southerly wind gets up, puts a ripple across the water, away they'll go. They spawn. That's how temperamental these babies are. All too often with purification, they'll get to 34 hours into the necessary 36, and then bang, they're gone, just like that. One blows, the whole fucking lot blows. Don't slam the door. Want to be an oyster farmer? Stand in the shower and rip up $100 bills. Yeah, it's all right for you. I'm not ashamed of what I do. Everybody shits and someone's got to get rid of it. I'm doing you blokes a valuable service. It's not shit collecting anymore. It's wastewater management. <laughs> <laughs> you ungrateful bastards. Hey, slug. We better not ever catch you dumping. Ah, oh, those are my sandwiches. Toasted. <laughs> <laughs> are you as stupid as a bucket, old man? You fucking senile. Mate, leave him alone, mate. You want to fight me, chicken wing? I don't want to fight you, but he didn't do it deliberately. Look at him. Leave him alone. Hey, pretty boy, why don't you bend over for Granddad? Just let him go, mate. Come on, mate. Break it up! Stupid cockheads have made all the oysters blow. Are you going to use that? You take your filthy suck truck slug and fuck off. You're not welcome. Old Aaron, he had a heart attack. Anyone else? Yeah, is there a package for Jack Flange, Bar Point? Sorry. The half the mail fell in the boats roundabout. People pissed off without checking it. Will they hand it in or? Oh, there's keepers around here, son.
I'm awake, the world's awake. Wakey, wakey, hands off, snakey. What time is it? I'm getting you up, you lazy prick. It's a new day, we got work to do. Come on, up, 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 get up. Jesus. Like living at the bottom of a whore's handbag in here. Hardly five star when I moved in. You got five minutes, hurry up. Gonna be a real scorcher again today, I can feel it. He's got the sprinklers on. See that? They're going to die if you leave them out there much longer. They're insulated. It's four years hard work, sitting out there baking in the heat. Four years hard slog. You think I enjoy standing by watching you lose your crop because you're too bloody stubborn to admit that she's right? You got a good layer of mud? They're getting stressed, son. They're going to die. It's not what you said yesterday. Well, it wasn't 40 odd degrees yesterday, was it? Listen, once we decide we start watering them, we can't go back, you know that. Well, I think we should follow her lead. No. I mean, she has got a good nose for us. Look, I make the decisions around here. Not you, not her. You're a bloody fool. You're a fucking fruitcake, so leave it alone. Hey, Pearl. What's you up to? Uh, I'm just going to watch the game. Yeah. Who's winning? I just got here. All right. Here, you got your boat fixed yet? Uh, no. Because uh, I got a new motor. Four strike. So perhaps you might like me to give you a lift home tonight. Uh, no, it's OK, thanks. Why not? Well, I promised Mum and Brian I'd cook dinner. Why don't you forget Brian? No, OK. All right, well, don't come sucking up to me next time you want some money. Cos you don't do me any favours, do you? Hey, never ask how I'm doing or introduce me to your friends. Cos I'm not good enough for you, am I? I'm just a shit collector! You OK? You know that caravan park up river? Huh? Don't you like the place that we found you? No, it's good. You're lonely there, all by yourself, is that it? No. Well, you could always move in with us, you know. No, no, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. Suit yourself. Where do you guys live anyway? Why? Well, I just thought I could, you know, thank you properly, drop around with some beers or something. Fair enough. You know the Wampu Inlet? Yeah. See, yeah. we just passed the inlet. We see an old beer can stuck on a pole. That's your market. You go left, straight into the mangroves, up Dead Man's Creek as far as you can go. Can't miss it. OK, let's go. Watch the tide. Case of VB, thanks. 35. Tough. Tough. Thanks. Hey, can you guys smell that? <laughs> Rotten. Fuck off, Flynn. Don't I hear you've been sniffing around Pearl? Gotcha. Hey, stay away from her!
oyster boy. Good eye. Nice set up you got here. Yeah, keep supplies away. But don't let them get warm, stick them in the fridge. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? Well, I went down to the pub looking for a lift, but uh, everyone was too pissed. So, Mumbles said if I came and asked you nicely. Mumbles. Do you want me to leave? Nah. I want to ask you something. What was that we slugged the other night? He just can't handle his drink, that's all. Is that all you're sure? Because it's pretty fucking disgusting if you ask me, latching after young girls like that. I mean, I guess you get your resident pervert weirdo in every community, but don't you reckon that guy's got a real anger problem? I mean, no one likes him. So what do you like about this place? It's quiet. What about the oysters? Well, I wouldn't mind growing my own someday. They don't sell leases. Not to outsiders. You're better off robbing a bank or ripping off the fish markets. Some mad bugger got away with it the other day. Yeah, I heard. What would you do with that kind of money, Jack? I can't imagine, Pearl. What would you do? I'd have my footwear made to order. You notice no one wears any around here? Not real ones. They're all, um, thongs or gumboots or... I had this one boyfriend once who um, had skin this thick on the bottom of his feet. It was disgusting. I used to have to make him wear socks whenever he came to bed. Uh, you probably don't want to hear that, though. No, go on. No, it's okay. Where'd you get those? Mail order. No, I meant the bruises. I um, ran aground up near Milson's Passage. Hit the mud at 25. Clean ripped the motor off the back end. <laughs> You're mad. You can talk. No one in their right mind volunteers to leave up here permanent. Well, Not unless they're running away from the law. Not me. Bad marriage. Doubt it. How old are you? 24. It's a good age. You reckon? Yeah. I feel old. Oh. Are you okay? Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. I'll run you home. So, um, so, who else lives up here? <laughs> More farmers, Vietnam vets, fishermen. Good night, Jack. Thirteen trays down yesterday. Shoot. Holt was going like a mechanical harvester. I don't know how he does it. So when did this happen? <clears throat> what? You and Pearl. She's not my girlfriend. I should warn you, mate. She's high maintenance. How's that? See those boots she's got on? Yeah. Cost over a thousand bucks. Bullshit. No, Mum told me. Designer, apparently. How do you reckon she pays for him? Hairy checkbook, mate. You're disgusting. Come on, mate. Relax. It was a joke. Go. Swim. Don't wobble. 
It's all your fault, son. You're feeding them too much. What's he training him for? Oh, the dog race. When's that? Sunday. Just look at him go. I'd put my house on black a hundred to one. Our diesel is going to blitz him this year. You'll get him going. Yeah, go on, Heath. Get him out further. Hey, Mumbles. Yeah? Can you lend me some cash till next week? Yeah, OK, but uh, don't blow it all at once. All right. Thanks, mate. Yes, mate. Oh, 60 bucks on diesel, please. Thanks, mate. All good. Thanks, mate. Give him here, mate. No! <clears throat> don't argue. He's my dog. He listens to me. I've got his stick. Not anymore. You do realise you're supposed to swim. Oh, shit. Can you help, Diesel? So what exactly is it that you do? What? At the caravan park. I clean them. You're a cleaner? Yeah, I was, but I quit. Everyone ready? When I say, on your mark. isn't it? Yeah. What were you doing down there? Nothing. Well, I just dropped something. You couldn't give me a hand, could you? My back's playing up. Yeah. Thanks. Are <sighs> hey, you weren't at the dog race? No, I, uh, I leave that to the boys. Why? Where'd Diesel come? I didn't finish. <laughs> oh, well, it's typical. Anyway, he's Brownie's dog, really. I was more than happy to get rid of him. He's always humping my leg. Enough to give me varicose veins. Oh. Just leave it on the bench. Thanks. You're bleeding. Did Diesel do that? Oh, no, that's nothing. I'll get you some antiseptic. No, I'm, I'm okay. It's fine. Don't go to any trouble. No, it's no trouble. Stand up. Okay, let's see. Was it hurting? Drop your jeans. Oh, please. I'm a married woman. There's nothing I haven't seen before. <laughs> Put your hands down, for God's sake. So you got a packed lunch, bravo. You should be so lucky. Oh, God, you boys are ridiculous. Now, this might hurt, OK? So what's this I hear about me having some kind of a gift? Oh, that's just Mumbles. He reckons you can stop oysters from spawning. Really? How's that? Well, just by looking at him. <laughs> Not sure that's a compliment. I well, come off it. You're a natural. Anyone can see that. Well, that's because I could shop before I could walk. My dad was a farmer at Wallace Lake. Turn around. Grief, you have been in the wars. Get your top off. <clears throat> you don't say much, do you, Jack? Depends. What are you thinking? 
Why did you leave Brownie? <laughs> so 50% of couples break up over two things, yeah? Renovations, relatives. What renovations? Exactly. Brownie promised me a bath when we got married. Men never understand why a woman needs a bath. They think you can just soak standing up. Well, did you talk to him about it or what? What's the point? There's no money. Of course, there could be if those blokes knew what they were doing, but they, they wouldn't let me out on the boat enough because you know what? A woman's place, it's in the home. <laughs> what home? The only thing that works in that place is the plumbing because God forbid if our shit leaks out and kills off the oysters. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be dragging you into our soap opera. Okay. Anyway, I appreciate you patching me up, Mrs. Sweet. It was a pleasure. I better go. And, uh, Jack. Thanks. Look at them bloody mongrels, huh? Lining up to maul another poor bugger to death. Well, I'll be damned. A feckin' dog whisperer. Mike. What happened to the cleaning job? I thought I told you. I quit. You haven't got a package there for me, do you? Or maybe back at the post office? That's all there was. Sorry. Hey, mate. She likes you. Shut up. Don't you fancy Slug as a father-in-law? What did you say? But don't tell me you don't know. No what? Brian? He's de facto. Slug is the father. You're kidding. Brian um, shoots blanks. <laughs> There's no such thing as the immaculate fecking conception in this part of the world. Still, we all got a big shock uh, when that little babby popped out looking so perfect after such an unholy yeah, coupling. thanks. I'll get it. Just think of that poor girl. What a burden, huh? The bastard child of a shit collector. What she want? She's got a sore back. Too bad. It worked for me, not her. No job for the ladies. She'll get tired of it soon enough. How was school? Dunno. <laughs> you got much homework? No. <laughs> hey, you two, stop mucking around. Hey, let's go, matey. Go on, do what your mum says. Thought you should know. I've decided to enter competitions. What, by yourself? Yeah. Don't allow hobby farmers. I've checked. I qualify. Bullshit. How dare you do that for someone else's business? I'm doing it for myself. Trader. You've got to get her back, son. How do I do that? Any broad ideas? She'd like a bath.
This old rust bucket. <laughs> Cheaper to buy a new one, Dad. The new ones don't have legs. He's right. Trish doesn't want a jacuzzi. She wants a good old-fashioned tub to soak in after work. What'd you say? He means a spa bath. I know what a jacuzzi is, Dad. What I want to know is how shit for brains here knows so much about my wife's bathing preferences. I, I was just guessing, that's all. Don't take it so personal. You found my package? Not yet. What's in it, anyway? A present. Oh, yeah? Who's the lucky... My sister. Your sister? Yeah, my sister. She's in the hospital. So that's why you came up here? Yeah, well... I meant to tell you, but... Do you have a big family? No, I don't. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. It's all right. It's all right. Anyway, she's more like my mum. Me and Nick grew up in refuges and foster homes. She's really pretty. I could see that. You've been spying on me. No. You've been spying on me, haven't you? I haven't been spying on you. OK, so what is it? It's obvious you want to say something. Don't you believe me? Yeah, I do. It's just Cherie out the front reckons that you might have robbed the fish markets and then mailed the money back to yourself. Yeah, right. I know, I know. That's what I said. It's if anyone would be that stupid. It's probably just gone up the wrong river. Uh, still, I hope you insured it. Bye. Is Skippy around? Yeah. Is Skip around? Hello there. Ah, thanks, mate. Hello. Hello, is anyone home? Bloody dust. Haven't locked the door since 75. <coughs> I wouldn't care if the whole bloody joint burnt down. Save me a lot of trouble, I reckon. And you consider yourself very lucky. Because if I ever catch you sneaking around where you're not fucking wanted, I'll kick your balls so hard they'll bounce on your adenoids. Is that clear, son? Yes. Better be. G'day. Hey. How do you like my massage tub? I'm speechless, mate. Yeah, I thought I'd make it like my beaded car seat cover, but with marbles, you know, good for your back. What's eating you? Nothing. Let's just hope Trish goes for it, huh? Well, why shouldn't she? No reason. But if you're serious about helping Brownie get her back, then... What? You... Well, you could blast the mould off the side of the house, mend a few windows. It wouldn't cost you much. I'll give you a hand. They couldn't spare the time, not with the harvest growing so bad. Fair enough. Leave me out of it. How can he afford that? 
I've had enough of this. We've got to help Brandy check the spats. Forget him. I'm in charge. You coming? This is private property. Let me do the talk. Is that you, Mumble? It is. What the hell are you doing hiding in the mangroves? Sprung a leak in your septic tank, have you, Slug? Because the levels are pretty high around here. Bullshit. How did you afford that new motor? I saved up for it. Yeah, taking sly payments and dumping in the river, more like. How do you come onto my land and accuse me, you six-fingered Irish asshole? Where are you dumping it, Slug? I need to know. I'm not. I wouldn't do that. It's the houseboats, isn't it? Start the engine. You're an environmental philistine! Start the engine. Bite your ass and get off my property now! Or I'll shoot your fucking will! Don't think that you can shut me up, you dirty bloody monster! I'll strangle your scrawny orange crush! Woo! You mad bastard! Get out of it! Oh. oh, don't worry about it. I was only calling his bluff. Are you insane? He could have killed us. Nah, he's not that stupid. A good dog never shits on his own doorstep. What if he's not dumping? Well, where else would he get it? I mean, the bank sure as hell wouldn't loan him a bean. Not with his track record. Do you reckon he's the one that ripped off the fish markets then? Bruce Lug? Never leaves the river. No. Frozen crayfish. That's an old fisherman's trick, and if they haven't caught him by now, he's away and laughing. How's that? Well, the police didn't even find a bloody weapon. I mean, for all we know, some innocent member of the public came along and etched your honor. Classic. What a desperado, eh? There you go. Okay, thank you very much. Are you glad to be ready to pick up on Friday afternoon? I'll see you then. Okay, hey. Hey. You always carry that much cash around, or? Oh, it gave me a good deal. Any sign of my package yet? No. How's your sister? She's transferring to Gosford. Wow. That's a good hospital. Are you going with her? Bastard. Have you got any idea what they'll do to you if they find out? They'll close down the farms. I'm pumping air into the tyre. I'm not pumping shit into the river. Jeez, even my own daughter thinks I'm a dumper. What is it with this place, eh? Everyone's favourite pastime round here seems to be jumping to conclusions. Well, I'm bloody sick of it. I'm not a dumper. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm, um, I'm getting out of the business. Since when? Look, I can't compete with the big boys. There's no future in that. I'm just a little independent. And everything's going global, so, you know, go with the times. They've made me an offer, I've accepted. How much? Enough. So what are you going to do now? Well, I don't know. But I thought I might take care of weekenders, you know, for a city folk. Yeah, and then you don't have to be so embarrassed about me. I'm not embarrassed by you. Good hoping. Yeah. You know, your mum and I used to come out here a bit. It's a good place to think. Yeah, it is. Hey, Skip. What would you do if you suspected someone was stealing from you? I've been something of theirs. Fair exchange is no robbery. Like what? I 
like something they love. Well, what if that didn't work? Then I'd tell them to smoke my pig. Jesus! You're a bloody murder! You got a license for that? It's a national park. The rangers don't bother us. It's easy as batshit here. You just grip and squeeze. I oh, know your game. Who's Trish working for? Oh, she's leasing from old man Peterson. He wanted out, but he couldn't sell up. Everybody said it was bad ground. But it's right next to yours. Well, not everybody can read the river. You know, sometimes it lies fallow for years before some farmer comes along and knows how to bring it back to life. It's like having a sixth sense, hmm? And for all her faults, that's one thing that that woman has in abundance. You two shot it. Sick of hearing it. Don't just sit there fanning your balls. Give me in with this pump. What sort of plastic? Remote for the telly. You know, some dogs work hard for a living, and some dogs turn good food into shit. So you don't think it'll kill him? Well, if he hasn't shut it out by tomorrow morning, take him to the surgery. They'll sort it out. Will you help me? There are low-risk meals, and there are high-risk meals. <laughs> Well, check his ABC. You do it. Coward. Well, you want to give mouth to mouth to a dog? Go ahead. Be my guest. All right, then. I will. Good. Oh, no, don't. It's crazy. Don't. It's not worth it. Stand back. What if he's got worms or something? Shh. I think we've lost him. What if he's in a coma or something? No, he's gone. Someone's coming. Quick, get rid of them. Don't say a word. Hey. G'day. Have you guys seen Smokey? What happened, love? He... he gone walkabout. Yeah, he disappeared last night. 
I'm just hoping he hasn't been bitten by a snake. Well, probably. I lost two that way. Do you want me to help you look? No, it's OK. Thanks, but I should probably keep going. See you. Good luck. I can't see him. He's gone. That'll be the sharks. The sharks? My oath. Big ones, too. They come up here, you know, and breed in the, the warmer water. You wouldn't catch me swimming in there. Hey, Richard, have you seen Smokey? Oh, I'm sorry. Can you let me know if you do? Hey. about Smokey. That was an accident. Poor kid. She's had a rough time lately. Brian said they had to cut up a credit card. What? Oh, yeah, they've had to bail her out several times. Told her she blows it all on shoes. What was the dog doing at your place, anyway? Huh? You gonna tell her? <laughs> no, I wouldn't either. Get her a new one. That's what I'd do. That way, if Dad blurts it out, he'll have done a bit of damage control. He wouldn't tell, would he? Oh, no. He'll forget about it eventually. We're not complete bastards. Yeah, right. I thought he looked a little bit like Smokey. That's it. Oh, I know. Thank you. Why can't you leave her alone, Dad? Not unless she apologizes. For what? For what? For hot wiring my only son to sex and death until he's worn out like a like a shriveled old foreskin. <laughs> You ought to talk. Unzip your fly, your brains will fall out. My God, but what would your mother say now if she heard you? I didn't know she ever got a word in. Well, she was the love of my life. And she's still my wife, so show some respect. Respect? I don't think she even knows the meaning of the word. She wouldn't be farming another man's shell. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right, all now, right, all you? right. She'll get sick of it soon enough. Do you remember at the end, when she was dying, Ooh. Get out of this place, she said. Get off this foul river or it'll... it'll wear you out too. Mum? Yeah. You didn't take her advice? No. Why not? Well, go back to the other side of the world where the sky comes down low like the lid on a tin box and the only fish you get is on the Friday. Oh, no, no. I wouldn't do that to you, son. But come here to me, listen, um, don't think that I don't understand how much you want your life back, you know? Because I do. I know. Peace at school, you just missed him. Yeah, I know that. It's just, um... I need your help. I'm not going to stay here for 36 hours. Dad'll look after Heath. Don't worry about that. Please, Trish, if they blow on me one more time, I'm gone, all right? OK. But we do it my way. Thanks for bringing me here. It's a good spot. 
Yeah, it's beautiful. There's another one further up river. We should go there. Maybe next week. What makes you think I'm gonna be here? You look good here. I do? Hmm. Plus, you're a fast learner, I can see that. What if I disappoint? Then my instincts are wrong. You're pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? Oh, you mean embarrassing? No, I didn't say that. I wish I was a man. Why? Because then I know what you were thinking. I think you already know what I'm thinking. Do you think dogs have an afterlife? Maybe they live on in dog dreams, you know? When they twitch in their sleep and stuff. Don't look at me, look at them. I'm serious. If you don't eyeball them every second, they'll think you've lost interest. I'm looking. What is it? As in? How come ever since you left, my oysters are ripe too soon? How long have we been married? Fifteen years. How can you ask me that? Brownie, you just have to stay calm. Yeah, I can do that. Bullshit. What's the secret? Sometimes I sing to them. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, you ain't that good a singer. It's not funny. You love telling people what they can and what they can't do. Don't you, Brownie? And look at you, there is you with your rot and your mortgage and your mates blitz to the girls and your old man's out there directing traffic and you are letting them listen in through the walls. And all the time I just wanted to say, get out! That's not what we wanted, that is not what we were after. So fuck you, I'm not coming back. You brush your teeth? Come give your mum a kiss goodnight and jump in your sleeping bag.
Hi, Skip. What? You ever been in love? No. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon everyone needs drama. Yeah? Makes you feel more alive. Some bastards leap out of planes. Some have a real big wedding. Some lucky bastards even get laid. <laughs> and some poor fucks carve themselves up. I reckon you're best to know that part of yourself. Because it's going to surface sooner or later, isn't it? You don't want it to come as a shock, eh? have to kill people to get the rush. Now I'm happy to just go fishing. I'm going to get that bloody lease back off Johnson. Which one? Up the back paddock. I mean, let's face it, it's a mess. He hasn't got a clue. And you have. Do right. Dad? Just say if we offered Jack here a couple of those leases up by the escarpment. Only take him a couple of years to pay him off. You don't mean sublease? Why not? He's a good worker. We've got to give him some incentive. What's the cats? You'd have to take the old man with you. No, no way. And why not? I know, I know. It's a big ask, but look, me and Trish, we're not going to make it if he's out there on the barge all day sticking his nose into everything. I do nothing of the sort. We'll have to reconsider if he hasn't croaked in a year. Fair enough, so you do it then? It's generous offer. You're a good man, Jack. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Excuse me, gents. I'm not going to die. You can forget that straight away. I'm still the head of this family. Do you hear me? So it was you all along, you bastard. Let it go, Jack. Dirty money will only bring you bad luck. Yeah? You're a crap criminal. There's no future in it. How the fuck would you know? Do you think I came out here to the end of the world because I like the scenery? You didn't have to put it in the bath. I don't understand you, Jack. You're a decent, honest young man with the whole world in front of you. And you want to throw it all away. And for what? A bad, bloody conscience, that's what. And if you keep walking down that road, son, it'll only lead you to hell. Yeah, I know, I know. You could weep. It does seem like a, a lot of money. It is a lot of money, you stupid old prick. You know what your problem is? You don't think things through. How are you going to explain where you got all that cash, huh? You're a bloody amateur. I'm an amateur, am I? You guys are up to your eyeballs in debt, and you're going, origami, $150,000 into a bathtub. What on God's earth made you do that? You should thank your lucky stars that I got it before the police, or you would now be bum up against the wall, courtesy of Her Majesty, cursing the day you ever set foot in a fish market. You know what? You guys win. I quit, all right? And you, mate, you're nothing but a washed-up old fucking loser anyway. Pretty good, but they're going off the edge a bit, you know. 
This one's over here. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, heaps better. Yeah. Have one have a look. Can have a look at these ones, can we? What happened to the carpet? Cut a dog out of it. You don't have to come with me. I'll be out of hospital in a couple of months. You don't know that for sure. What about Pearl? What about her? You can't keep running away every time you feel something. What would you know, hmm? Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Now for our main award. For overall texture, colour, size and taste. First prize is awarded to number six, Sweetwater Oysters. Special chiropractic bar. Oh. Dad thought it'd be good for your back. Did you do this? Yeah, I made it myself personally. Well, I got to tell you, same as you've outdone yourself. Well, I hope it's worthy of you, <laughs> Patricia. Well, it'll be like having a hundred eyeballs staring up my crack. Yeah, nothing new on that. Oh yeah, that'd be right. No, 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 Did no, no. you put All this right. one yeah, yeah, yeah. Of okay, a okay, place? okay. Both of you. Where's Jack anyway? He should be in on this. He quit. He what? Well, I guess he wasn't cut out for the job. Jesus, Dad, when were you going to tell us this?
Hey. We fancied you'd done a runner. Yeah, I thought better of it. Thank you. 